wouldn't want the supreme ultimate journey, right? Okay, we're going to take you on three bits. Our journey will explore three powerful pieces of Tai Chi that will help you understand and see how this system works in its most powerful way. Okay, first, number one, we got to figure out what is this Tai Chi thing that we're after. Okay, we will look at it in three ways. Number one, in its most abstract, its sort of universal or spiritual essence. What is Tai Chi? Right? What is this supreme ultimate thing? Number two, a little bit closer to home, you might think of it as a mental, emotional concept of Tai Chi. And number three, a physical component. What what sort of elements are we going to be working with that will ground us and make this real, practical, and worthwhile? You are not alone. You're not alone in wanting better health, more freedom, more power in your physical body, in your emotional system, in your mental health, in your spirit. You're not alone when you begin practicing Tai Chi, because it's practiced throughout the world. You're not alone when you get deep into it and you decide that you want to follow in the footsteps of legends. Not all Tai Chi does that, but you're not alone. Some of it does. Here we will. We will follow in the steps of Yang Lu Chan, the founder of Tai Chi. If you came to relax, if you came to de-stress, if you came to gather exquisite health, relieve joint pain, get more power or freedom in your motion, and even if you came to attain a bit more wisdom and understanding of yourself and the world, this will do it. Tai Chi does that. So, come on. Let's get her done. Let's get involved. Let's figure out how it does it, because that's, that's the issue. It will require that you participate in the work, learn the form step by step. Okay, it's not just going to happen overnight, just by sitting and watching. Please get involved, and the benefits will be yours. Yes, yes, and yes. You will get the normal benefits of Tai Chi, You'll get better health. Of course, the focus of relaxation, loosening up the body, a natural sort of health comes with the physical focus that we have in Tai Chi. Absolutely. Self-defense also arrives naturally. Some of it, because it leans on relaxation, will arrive naturally. And then the structures of the form itself are an impeccable way to discover Tai Chi. The essence, though, of the Tai Chi is softening up and not being naturally or hyper-reactive defensive, right? So letting go of that will cultivate uh, spiritual power of self-defense. And that's our other bit that we get to in the long term of Tai Chi, is the ability to heal ourselves and to have a presence that you might describe as healing others as well. Again, this is a process. This is an adventure. And there's a lot of places we can go with this adventure. The next piece in the series is exploring the legend itself. The legend of Yang Lu Chan, the founder of Yang Tai Chi, and indeed some consider the founder of Tai Chi or Tai Chi Chuan entirely, right? Yang, we're going to look at five stages in his life story. And in some ways, these are the 
point of looking at Yang's stages of life is to say that we can literally follow in his tracks, right? Man, woman, young or old, we can explore the farmer, right? This is probably the least covered of his, of his tale, but we'll look at some specific ways that we might want to understand the farmer. Uh, the servant. This is the one where we all know how he sort of snuck in and started spying on advanced martial arts. Number three is the Taiji student proper, right? Committed to a particular style, to training in it, to getting more in depth. Number three, or excuse me, number four is a more advanced or expert practitioner. We may even consider this is the moment or it's the hinge point where either the beginning or the end where he becomes Yang the Invincible, right? He's up to a teacher level. And, and finally, it's the invincibility itself. It's this, this way of internalizing Taiji to the point where we can be rather than do Taiji. So we'll, we'll consider all five steps in that journey and try to have some idea of how we can be quite literal and following his footsteps in our own ways. In our own ways is, well, necessary, right? We're all unique individuals, so that's an important reason why we need our own ways. Secondly, we live in a different age entirely, right? Yes, we do. We have access to materials that Yang lacked, and indeed these can help push our process, and in some ways might hold us back. So we want to look at and how to learn Taiji using modern media. We want to look at how to reduce the resistance that modern media gives us, and lift up the advantages that modern media gives us. So we'll look at the pros and cons and how to cope with it all. So, please, sign up, come along for the ride, um, enjoy the scenery, and when we're through with our orientation on the adventure, then we'll give you a chance to plug right in and get active with it. The sign-up form is engineered for delight. It's an exquisite way for you to get involved um, because the expense is your contact information. You sign up and we will send you the adventure. We will send you a series that will plug you into what is Tai Chi, how did Yang do it, and what do we got to do with our modern media to activate our own power, right? So. Again, just put in your name, put in your email, and come along for the ride. I hope you enjoy it. I'm quite certain that you will.